Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls, for when the lights go out, all around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight, because tonight's story is called Here We Are. Notes for Living on Planet Earth by my all-time favourite author, Oliver Jeffers. I cannot believe the quality and quantity of books that this author and illustrator puts out. And I'm sure that this book is definitely a book that you have to see to believe and to see to understand. And I just hope I can do it justice by reading it here on the Lights Out podcast. Always a big shout out goes to the awesome authors who are supporting the Ad Free Forever show and our mission for a thousand stories for boys and girls around the world and the listeners too. It would be nothing. We would be nothing. I would be nothing without you. Well, Actually, I would still be me, but I would be telling a story to just three little angels of mine rather than 3,000 of you every night around the world. 10,000 a week, 400,000 in the last year have listened to these stories from my voice, which is kind of cool, but... Most important is the story, right? And tonight's story, here we are. Notes from living on planet Earth. Are you ready? Have you got your eyes closed? Are you listening? Once upon a time. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which we live. We're glad you found us, as space is very big. There is much to see and do here on Earth. So let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land, rock and dirt, and sea, water. Firstly, let's talk about the land. It's what we are standing on right now. We know lots about the land. Then there's the sea, which is full of wonderful things. We know a bit about the sea, but we'll talk some more about that once you've learned to swim. There's also the sky, though that can get pretty complicated. OK, moving on. On our planet, there are people. One people is a person. You are a person and you have a body. Look after it, as most bits don't grow back. The most important thing for people to remember are to eat, drink and stay warm. People come in many shapes, sizes and colours. We may all look different, act different and sound different. But don't be fooled. We are all people. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes and sizes. They can't speak, though. That's no reason to be nice to them. You may not be able to speak yet either. Even though your head is filled with questions. But be patient. You'll learn how to use words soon enough. Generally, how it works is that when the sun is out, it's daytime and we do stuff. And the rest of the time is night when it's dark, save for the moon, and we sleep. Please, we sleep. Things can sometimes move slowly here on Earth. More often, though, they move quickly. So use your time well. It will be gone before you know it. Though we have come a long way, 
we haven't quite worked everything out, so there's plenty left for you to do. You will figure lots of things out for yourself. Just remember to leave notes for everyone else. It looks big, Earth, but there are lots of us here, so be kind. There is enough for everyone. And well, that's it. That is planet Earth. Make sure you look after it. And it's all we've got. Now, if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never alone on Earth. There are thousands and millions of us. I think that's the end. But here's some quotes on the back page which I'd like to read. Looking back and seeing your planet as a planet is just an amazing feeling. It's totally different perspective and it makes you appreciate actually how fragile our existence is. Dr. Sally Ride, astronaut and physicist. There are only three words you need to live by, son. Respect, consideration and tolerance. And that's by Oliver's dad, an all-round good human. And Oliver's the author of this awesome book. Here we are. Notes for living on planet Earth. And I think Oliver Jeffers has got to be one of the most outstanding humans on planet Earth for giving us books like this and all the other ones that I absolutely love and have read a lot here on the Lights Up podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls here on planet Earth. Good night.